In a camp, there is a meal for 120 men or 200 children. If 150 children have taken the meal, how many men will be catered to with the remaining meal? So we have two quantities here, men and children. And if we increase the amount of meal, both the amount of men or the amount of children will increase. This means that men and children are directly proportional. Right. So we have 120 men equivalent to 200 children. So 120 is equivalent to 200. Now 150 children have taken the meal. How many men will be catered to with the remaining meal? Well, if 150 children have taken the meal and if there are 200 children, the number of children that are remaining is 50. 200 minus 150 is 50. So 50 children remaining. What is the equivalent number of men those 50 children are? Right. So x. Now, as this is a direct proportion, we can divide and equate. So the value of x is equal to 120 times 50 divided by 200. These zeros get cancelled out. 2 times 6 is 12 and 6 times 5 is 30. So x is equals to 30. So option B is the correct answer. Four mat weavers can weave four mats in four days. At the same time, how many mats would be woven by eight mat weavers in eight days? Now we can tackle this problem like this. We have two relations in which we have three quantities. There's a relation between weavers and mats and mats and days. So the number of weavers, if they increase, they will increase the number of mats produced. So weavers is directly proportional to mats. If you increase the number of mats, the number of days required will also increase, right? The number of days required to work. So mats, the number of mats is also directly proportional to the number of days. Now it is given that four mat weavers can weave four mats in four days. So the number of weavers is four and the mats produced is four. And this is in four days, right? So in four days, how many mats will eight weavers produce, right? And that's what is asked. No, that's not asked. We have been asked how many mats would be woven by eight mat weavers in eight days. Well, let us first calculate how many mats be woven by eight weavers in four days. So we have this direct proportion right there. So we can directly equate this. We can get the value of x. So x is equals to four times eight by four. So x is eight. So eight mats in four days, right? So we can put, put this here eight mats in four days. So how many mats in eight days? And that will give us the answer. So y is equals to, this is a direct proportion. So we can equate y is equals to eight times eight by four. Four times two is eight. So eight times two is 16. So 16 mats in eight days. And that's our answer, option D. Running at the same constant rate, Six identical machines can produce a total of 270 bottles per minute. At this rate, how many bottles could 10 such machines produce in 4 minutes? Well, we have number of machines and the number of bottles. And if you increase the number of machines, the bottles produced will also get increased. So number of machines is directly proportional to the number of bottles produced. Well, we have six machines that can produce 270 bottles. So six machines are producing 270 bottles, right? Now, these bottles are produced per minute. Now, how many bottles could 10 such machines produce in four minutes? First of all, let us calculate how much 10 machines produce in one minute. So we have 10 machines, how many bottles they produce in one minute. So this is a direct proportion, so I can equate the ratios. So x is equal to 270 times 10 divided by 6. And that is equal to 6 times 45 is 270. So x is 450. So 450 bottles per minute, right? So in one minute, 450 bottles are produced. How much bottles will be produced in four minutes? So 450 times 
four bottles per four minutes will be produced, right? So 450 times four will give you 1800. So 1800 bottles are produced in four minutes. Option B is the correct answer. In a dairy farm, 40 cows eat 40 bags of husk in 40 days. In how many days one cow will eat one bag of husk? So what are the quantities here? Well, we have number of cows, number of bags and number of days. Let us analyze cows and bags. So number of cows and we have number of bags. Well, if you increase the number of cows, the number of bags required will also increase. Hence. The, these two quantities are directly proportional, right? So we have 40 cows who require or who eat 40 bags. Now this is all in 40 days. 40 cows, 40 bags in 40 days. Now we have been asked how many days one cow will eat one bag of husk. Well, let us calculate how much bags does one cow eat. So one cow will eat X bags. Well this will turn out to be 1 right because the upper terms are same we have 40 cows 40 bags so one cow will require one bag so one cow one bag in 40 days so the answer should be 40 days isn't it one cow requires one bag in 40 days so that's our answer option c 12 men working 8 hours per day complete a piece of work in 10 days. To complete the same work in 8 days, working 15 hours a day, the number of men required will be. So we have these two quantities. We have the number of men and the number of days required. So if you increase the number of men, the number of days required to complete the work will decrease. So this is basically inversely proportional these two quantities right so we have 12 men working 8 hours per day to complete a piece of work in 10 days so 12 men complete the work in 10 days right so this is basically working 8 hours per day now how many men will it take to complete the same work in 8 days albeit working 8 hours per day we will then later calculate what will be the total number of men when they work for 15 hours a day. For now, let us calculate for 8 hours a day. So, this is inversely proportional. So, I can invert one of the ratios and then equate. So, x by 12 is equal to 10 by 8. Therefore, x equals to 10 times 12 by 8. So, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12 and 2 5s are 10. Therefore, x is equals to 15. So 15 men are required who work 8 hours per day. Okay. So again, we have men, number of men and working hours. Now if you increase the number of men, the number of working hours can be reduced. Else, if you increase the working hours, the number of men can be reduced. Right. So these are inversely proportional to each other. So we have 15 men working for 8 hours. 15 men working for 8 hours. What is asked? We want how many men are there if they work for 15 hours. So 15 is here. This should be y. And this is inversely proportional. So I can write y by 15 is equal to this term is as it is 8 by 15. So 15, 15 get cancelled out. y is equal to 8. So the number of men who complete the same work in 8 days and working for 15 hours a day is 8.